you've got your photocopy and it's in black and white, we're going to use a texter to trace around the areas that um, and separate the light areas from the dark areas. We're aiming for three tones. So you want your lightest area, um, your mid area and your darkest area. So I'll just show you. I'm going to put a board underneath so it's nice and flat. And then I'm going to simplify as much as possible. So when I get to an area like this, I'm going to define that shadow. So that will be a dark area. This will be a mid-tone area. outlined and separated into different shapes I can get my canvas ready so I've got a, a square canvas and I've got a piece of transfer paper transfer paper is darker on one side and lighter on the other you want the darkest side to be touching the canvas and you want to line up the bottom of your image with the bottom of the canvas. This empty space up here is fine. Um, so I'm going to line it up like that. Then I'm going to get a piece of sticky tape and attach it down here and fold it over on my board. So that way I can see what's going on underneath and it will fall back into the same position. So transfer paper works by pressure from the lead pencil. So if I push down on here just to test if that's working, I should be able to see a line that it has made there. So now I simply transfer and press down on my texture outline that I've done. And I need to press quite firmly. And if I lift it and check, that is transferring quite well. So it's a matter of going over all the shapes where I've got the texture line and transferring those shapes across. It's important that you get the eye shape as close to accurate as possible. So this is where more detail needs to be and peel it back so that you can see if you've missed any important areas. Remember, I don't want to make it too difficult because I do have to paint this. So let's have a look. Yeah, there's a little bit more that I can work with. So to test off your brush control, it's good to in your VAPD or on a scrap of paper, test out, like draw yourself a line and see if you can paint up to that line and not go over it and see how much brush control you've got. So can I paint up to that line and maintain the quality of my brush control? Now, don't be afraid that if if you're working best, I'm right-handed, so I work best working up to the line here, I would struggle to work into that side there. So it may be easier for me to turn it around and paint all of this line first.
this was a little bit boring, so I'm going to um, increase the interest by doing some things in the background. I'm going to use some sticky tape, and now that it's completely dry, it's dried overnight, I can uh, take off areas that I want to not to get any paint on. <laughs> 